Hey guys, Dr. Casilla here, just going to uh, help you understand the surgery of a hammer toe correction and the recuperation process that it involves. Uh, both the left and the right bilaterally, it was the second and third toes. These two joints right here are gone. They cut here and here and brought them together and left the capsules in place. It's because the, this toe was doing this and causing problems. I do feel a little bit of discomfort, not as much as I thought I would, but I have done a lot of meditation to hypnotize myself. So hypnosis and meditation are really great for pain. I mean, lifesavers. I haven't had to take oxycodone or any of the Percocets or any of the painkillers. Now this one, as you can see, has a pin in it. I opted it for the uh, walker instead of the crutches because they're just impossible to kind of get up with. The walker was way easier, so it's been a real big help. Keep that swelling down to a minimum. Elevate my feet and keep them above heart level. You want to keep them moving. You want to do ankle pumps. Make sure it's blood, the blood's flowing. Make sure you get the movement going. Letting go of this, this guy. And walking on my own, which is phenomenal. Great. A little bit like a penguin but walking on my own nevertheless. Exercising them a lot, I'll show you. Been doing a lot of these. Pronation, supination, flexion, extension, external rotation, internal rotation, anything and everything. Just moving around, keeping myself moving, letting the feet know that I'm not taking too much of a break. One, two, three, hoop. Been doing a lot of the Arnica and bromelain. Also taking my probiotics and uh, eating a nice balanced meal uh, three times a day and taking my health smoothie and shake. I never stopped taking that. And just like I write in my book, uh, Be a Master of Maximum Healing, I got all my nutrients here, finishing it up. Mm. Ah, delicious. Very important if you're trying to get that nutrition throughout the whole day. You always want to get your body fed so that you have everything you need to have the building blocks so your body can repair whatever is uh, needed. Cheers. Oh man, that's a lot of bleeding. <laughs> Just uh, wrapping up an awesome day here at the office. I am like ecstatic. Not just because I work with some amazing souls, but uh, I was able to help many people today. And I am still with the bandages on my feet. Look at this. Ta-da. So my ankles aren't even swollen. The uh, bruising is gone. I've been doing my regimen at the Kasuli method. And uh, just, this is amazing. Less than two weeks ago, I had the surgery. See, nobody around me. Nobody assisting me. Why? Because I'm able to do a little bit of mind work and body work that allows myself to do what I need to do without having to have limitations. I might just pull it out myself here. I think we're gonna remove that, Doc. Hey, pull it. <laughs> he said pull it. <laughs> I felt that. Ah, but it's not that bad. It's, it's fine now. It was like just at the moment you're doing it. Ooh. See, being taped to my big toe, no pin. I'm doing all my Arnica, my bromelain, you know, all my holistic regimen, not taking any of the painkillers, don't need them, It'll give you stomach cramps, etc. And uh, also really dehydrated me, just for a little bit mild comfort, but uh, we're Spartans over here and we move through the pain. Happy feet, see that? It's very important that we move these guys as much as possible within the limitations that are presented. Also action, very important. 
that I take action. I don't want to sit there and have a pity party. The next couple weeks, the feet will be healing. We have the stitches out, the pins are out. Beautiful, it's coming along really well. I have some powder, some anti-fungal powder, and antiseptic powder on the toes here, so that way when I wrap them, they're all nice and clean. You want to keep everything nice and clean. Walking on hard surfaces without any of the padding, or the, the wrapping so that I can go back and forth and I can let my mind and body connect to the actual movements and pressures of the foot so I can get more normal. This definitely speeds up the process and also helps me get more control of my toes. This is the first time too, I'm actually taking a shower without having to worry about bags on my feet. I usually had the bags around my feet, but now no worry. They're all cleared up, no infection, thank God. Uh, and uh, they're looking great. <laughs> there you go. I know it's silly, but uh, it's a lot of fun to just, you gotta talk to your body and tell it what you expect from it. You know, people are so uh, moaning and groaning about their body not working correctly, but they're not asking the body to do something for it. And then they're unhappy with the results. So it's important that you, you continuously speak to your body and tell yourselves, hey, this is what I want you to do, you know, and be great and kind to yourself, you know, um, be loving, take care of yourself, and watch the miracle that your body actually gives you. Uh, it takes care of you if you take care of it, you know? So uh, have fun with your healing, it's very important. I decided to get rid of the other uh, shoes, these guys, or to get uh, brand new shoes that are comfortable and very free to the toes. So they slip right on and they give tons of room at the tips of the feet and it's wide. They're excellent. Plenty of room, a little bit, I'll just put some socks on and they'll be snug. But uh, no more weird questions from people saying, oh, what happened with your feet? It's great. All right, you don't want anything smushing the toe, obviously, and you want to give it plenty of room to breathe. The material is very breathable and uh, at the end of the day, my feet won't be tired. I'll be able to work and do what I need to do, okay? So I definitely recommend these uh, Skecher Sports with the memory foam, uh, and you look normal when you're walking around. It gives you a little bit more training and gets you ready for when you are going to be working with regular shoes again. As far as movement, I can move them. I can definitely bring them up, side to side, etc. So obviously I can't flex these two toes like I used to, you know, here, here's the flexion. You can see I have a lot of work to do with that as far as rehab. All wrapped up, as you can see, together at the base, and then a little bit of freedom at the top of here. And then secured it by itself individually so that it can have that nice straight movement on its own. With the shoe on, you can see that the toes come up to here, and then there's plenty of room in the shoe box up in the front so that they can move while I walk. The scar is basically healed, and now it's all about just the internal healing, the inside. You see, it's still very swollen in the toe itself. The foot itself doesn't have any swelling, but the toes, they're doing a lot of healing inside. Uh, you can, there's a little bit of a scab still here where the stitches kind of opened up from, from the removal. Uh, there was a little bit of a crack there, so blood was coming out. I'm showing you what it looks like inside. I definitely use some of the self-adhesive tape to actually give a little bit more support on the toes. You're gonna to need a lot of self-adhesive tape, so make sure you get plenty of it. While you cut it into strips and then you go around the toes like this, really helps uh, give it lots of support. <laughs> this weekend, I was dancing Greek style, and as you can see, after major foot surgery, four toes being operated on, still was able to do what I was able to do. Why? Because I talk to the body and the body listens. Uh, we are so used to in this society of not listening to ourselves and our bodies and what we innately know to be right. And instead we take on the stats or we listen to the white lab coats and we say, okay, they know more than we do. Well, yeah, they bring in the stats, which is great. You listen to the stats, but um, they're not God. They're basically just a guideline. They are uh, w wisdom that you use to put together with your innate wisdom and get even a better result. So talk to your cells. I always tell my patients they're listening. Your cells are listening. I go into great lengths with my books 
the be a master series so you definitely want to look into that uh, be a master of maximum healing it has all the information also if you want to talk about the the spiritual connection to the body you want to talk about this book right here uh, be a master of psychic energy so big tools for you to learn from and that's why i basically put them out there to kind of share what it is i know about healing and to make your life a little bit easier to go through uh, no matter what happens okay so if you like this video definitely please share it give it some love and your comments definitely down below i do get back to all the comments as fast as i can much love to you and yours uh, god bless and love for me bye bye